Hey, Abdullah. What's up? Take this. What is that? Just take it. What are you doing? Oh, it's okay. What was that? <laughs> Welcome back to Ubad's lab. And today, we're going to be making nitrocellulose. All right, and to make this nitrocellulose, we're gonna be following these two reactions uh, right here. So the first reaction is gonna be with potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid. So we're taking a little bit of a different route here. Uh, I know a lot of people like to just skip to this reaction right here, where you have the nitric acid uh, and um, your sulfuric acid uh, reacting with your cellulose and that will give you your nitrocellulose and some other product but since I don't have nitric acid uh, this is more this is an easier route for me and probably more accessible for uh, most people since potassium nitrate is not that hard to get uh, you can, it can be found at stump remover uh, so potassium nitrate reacts with our sulfuric acid, our H2SO4, and then that gives us our KHSO4. Um, not sure what that is, but what we, what we need right here is right here, our nitric acid, HNO3. So, and then our HNO3 will show up in this next reaction. Okay, so this reaction produces the HNO3. So, and then there will already be So HNO3 will show up into our second reaction. And then there will already be some unreacted uh, excess sulfuric acid from the previous reaction from here to there. Right? So all we have to do after doing this reaction is just add some C6H10O5, which is cellulose. So um, we're just cotton. So we're just going to be adding some cotton balls after completing the first reaction. And then that will give us our final product of C6H7NO2305, which is our nitrocellulose. And the proportions that we're going to be using is 320 milliliters of our sulfuric acid, 200 grams of our potassium nitrate. And I did not measure how much cotton we're going to use, but I kind of just filled as much as I could fit into it. And, um, yeah. So we're gonna get that reaction going. I'm using uh, pretty big proportions, a pretty large amount for this, uh, mostly because I have some future videos planned for this nitrocellulose, so I want a decent amount of it, and we'll be doing some fun demonstrations as well. All right, it's time to do our reaction between our sulfuric acid and our potassium nitrate. So luckily, I have a bunch of snow out here, which is gonna come in use because this reaction is pretty exothermic so surrounding it in some snow will be very useful uh, usually people have it in an ice bath or something but I'm gonna be using uh, this pan right here and just just getting it into the snow here and then we'll just surround it with them oops not inside the pan All right, let's get all that out. Okay, get in there. Get nice and surrounded in the snow. Get these pieces of snow out there. All right, and it's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna start by adding our sulfuric acid first about 320 grams of the sulfuric acid I'm using the drain opener so that's why it has this black color to it we're doing this at a pretty big scale because I want lots and lots of nitrocellulose for future videos to come and we'll do a bunch of fun demonstrations with it afterward all right, and now, this is the part we have to do carefully. We're gonna add our potassium nitrate. Very slowly, it's gonna uh, re release some toxic fumes. 
So that's why we're uh, outside right now. Just a little bit at first. And let me get my stir rod out. And we'll mix it. All right. And let's, la let's add the last bit of our potassium nitrate. Put this off to the side. All right. And let's give it a good mix. And once I'm done mixing this, and we're gonna let it react for a little bit more, I'm gonna add some of the cotton and get that reaction going. All right, so I let the reaction sit for a bit. Uh, it's been out here. It did change colors a bit. And there's a layer up here. I'm gonna give this a good mix. All right. And uh, there's still um, a decent amount of heat being produced by this. And there's a pretty bad smell, which is probably not good that I'm smelling it. But it's time to add the cotton. So we're almost done. I'm going to be fitting, fitting in basically as much cotton as I can while uh, all the cotton is still being nicely soaked into the, into the solution. So let's get this in there. It's all a good mix. All right. All right, so this is what it looks like now. Uh, all of it smashed in, nice and distributed in solution. And I'm gonna cover this up probably in some uh, plastic wrap and then let it sit, hopefully overnight. All right, so I let the nitrocellulose sit in uh, the solution for around 24 hours. And uh, we're in the next day now, and uh, it's snowing down on us pretty hard here. But not even a snowstorm can stop a bad slap from putting out content for you guys. You know it, we're on that grind. But here's the nitrocellulose after 24 hours. Let me see if that'll focus. It's kind of hard to see, there's not enough light. But it's all frozen up now, and we can get into the um, neutralizing process to get this nitrocellulose ready to use. So, first, I'm gonna start by putting some warm water into it. All right, we got some warm water into the pan. And we're gonna try breaking this up a little bit. It's all jammed up pretty good. Yeah, that's all frozen up really good. Hopefully the warm water uh, helps. And the warm water is also diluting the acid, so it'll be uh, safe to discard. Oh yeah, there we go. We're actually getting the cotton out now oh yeah it's all breaking up now from the warm water and we're gonna let it sit in this warm water for a bit <coughs> well it does not smell good at all and I'm gonna pour it off some of this dilute acid now. All right. This is what the the cotton looks like, mostly nitrocellulose. And um, we're gonna go through this washing process a few more times here. Oh my god, it smells really bad. All right, and now we've done two washes now. So what we're gonna do 
is pour some um, sodium bicarbonate into the pan which will help neutralize the acid and this is also a bit warm okay now it's gonna sit in this sodium bicarbonate solution for around five minutes you can see uh, there's a little bit of a color change from it's brown to more of a white now I'm gonna let this sit for around five minutes and then we'll probably repeat like two more washing steps after that all right I completed around five more water washing steps and I've laid all, out all of my nitrocellulose on a tray on some paper towel and I'm gonna let it dry for a bit and uh, it seems like it has some color to it. It's probably because my sulfuric acid, I used drain cleaner, which was a pretty like dark black color to it. So I'm not too worried about that. And I'm going to let this dry for uh, pretty long. Maybe at the end, I might blow it with a, a hair blower on, uh, on the hot setting. And then we can do some demonstrations. All right, I have a pretty crazy story for you guys. So while I was drying my nitrocellulose, I made a pretty, pretty uh, stupid decision to use a hair dryer to dry the nitrocellulose on the hot setting. And I think you guys know where I'm going with this, but I had three nitrocellulose balls on a paper towel and I had them on my hand and I was drying them with a, uh, the hair dryer. And I finished drying two of them, so two of them were completely dry. And while I was drying the last one, it just blew up right in my face uh, that caught the paper towel on fire and then the paper towel set both the other nitrocellulose balls on fire so at that point there's a big fireball in front of me both of my I was wearing gloves both of my hands were on fire I ran into I ran to the sink and I got them in water in time so it's all good but you guys have to be very careful with this stuff uh, don't make my mistake of uh, applying too much heat this stuff um does not need a lot of heat to actually uh, combust so i recommend just air drying out and uh, that's definitely the best option and that's what i turned out doing i air dried these for around like five days so completely dry and they're working perfectly now so the first demonstration i'm going to do is just burning a normal cotton ball no nitrocellulose just cellulose That is a cotton ball burning. Nothing spectacular, but it's just cool to compare it to how the um, the nitrocellulose were burned. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, let's get this uh, off now. Oh, it's kind of hot. All right, and next we got the nitrocellulose. I got a pretty nice big piece for you guys. All right, nitrocellulose time. Ready? Bop. Look at that, it all disappears in a split second. That was really cool. We're definitely gonna have a replay on that later. And I have one last demonstration for you guys, which is nitrocellulose wrapped in some aluminum foil. This one should uh, be a little bit louder. Oh, let's see. Woo! Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> so you can see that it opened up the aluminum foil over here from a big burst. That shows the, uh, the power of this. And we're going to be using that power in a future video to make a cannon out of a PVC pipe that can launch potatoes, tomatoes, uh, anything we feel like launching, and it'll be a lot of fun. 
So that's most likely my next video that's coming up, and I'm very excited for that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed these uh, demonstrations.